Hi friends, hope you all are doing well and uh, you had a blast celebrating year end and all geared up just like me for a fresh start in year 2023. With that, I would like to start today's video which is about which would be the top three areas to focus in AI and machine learning. So let's get started. year 2023 business leaders would be focusing on three things first thing is uh, how do we streamline and democratize AI the second thing is how do we address concerns rising around ethics and responsible AI and the third and the most important is how do we tie AI compensation with business goals this is a good to know information for all of you while this is not the topic of the day thing that I want to talk about is auto ML that is automatic machine learning where can we use this this can be used in labeling of data or fine-tuning uh, neural network architectures and why do we need that we need it because currently it's happening manually and is a costly affair this makes uh, models much more cheaper and the solutions will come to in the market much faster that's why this is one of the big focus area this year the second one that I want to talk about is multimodal learning. So far we have seen models which uses only text data. It is some uses only sensor data, some uses only speech data. But going forward with the connected device ecosystem that's coming with IoT, there is a need of a multimodal um, learning models uh, are required. And you would see many of such models coming, which is a combination of text and image, maybe sensor and audio, and so on and so forth. And last but not the least, I want to talk about a company named as OpenAI, which is coming up with a lot of new disruptive uh, applications and models. So let's look at it. I mentioned about OpenAI, but what is that they are offering? They are offering to us, uh, that's called as AI-enabled conceptual design and also improved language modeling. Last year, they launched a surprising thing, which is DALI. If I have to tell in short, it's an AI painter. You give an input in the form of text and a picture was created. Now, they have come up with something called as CLIP, that is, contrast, language, image, pre-training, a lot of jargons and technical term, but what does it mean? It means that you have to give uh, an input in the form of text and the output would be a visual design, which means a text data and image data are working together to give you an output and hence aiding all visual designs in future. Last but not the least the, that they have launched which is creating a buzz in the market of artificial intelligence and most of the startups are behind uh, this is chat GPT. So if you are in an AI domain and still don't know about chat GPT then I am surprised please check it out uh, as soon as possible. But it would require an altogether a new video for me to create uh, only on chat GPT and I will do that in coming days. Hope you liked uh, this top three trends in AI and machine learning for this year. And if you did, please do subscribe, share. And with that, me Sarika Hussain signing off for today. Have a good day.